What's up, future millionaires? It's your boy, MTI, and for the year of 2022. Now, I know this year isn't over quite yet. We got a few more weeks left, but in my personal opinion, I think the top two passive income D apps in the DeFi space is the Drip Faucet and EMP money. Well, why do I say that? Number one is the longevity. Drip was here back in April of 2021, going on two years, which will be this upcoming April. EMP money launched January this year, which is coming up on a year this upcoming January. And so the longevity, these projects have still been able to be here through this crazy bear market. The second thing is the developers and the team. Forex is known as one of the top devs in the DeFi space, and AJ is also known as one of the top devs in the DeFi space. And also, they constantly keep building as well. For Drip, we know Forex also has the Animal Farm, which helps contribute to Drip. But I'm more so just focusing on the faucet and also the upcoming utility for the Drip faucet layer too, right? That's constant building in the bear market. We look at AJ for EMP money. They had the new NFTs that just launched, right? For eShare there's an MDB and then also they're going to be having the new NFTs for the uh, detonator uh, which will be coming out here soon which I'm also going to be having AJ on the channel later on this week to talk about that launch as well and everything else that they've been developing and so these two projects and developers has also been constantly developing regardless what's been happening in the space. Now, the next reason I consider these two projects the top two passive income D apps in the DeFi space for 2022 is there hasn't been any exploits and there hasn't been any rug pulls and also no significant changes to you know the overall protocol we know drip for itself forex has already said i'm going to stick uh, strong to the core values of drip if there's any changes it will be implemented for layer two and if you look at emp money there's been small changes here and there but the core values have still stood tall where we've seen in the DeFi space projects come and go from exploits from rug pulls not being able to pay out the money you see multiple changes happen to the uh, project and then they start to lose the sentiment in the community so we seen a ton that's happened and drip faucet and also emp money has still been able to stand tall have things went down far as what you make every single day absolutely but these projects are still paying out every single day the entire market has been down and so the next thing i want to talk about as well is the community right we already know that drip is the largest d app you know in the DeFi space when it comes to you know roi passive income and the certificate deposit space we already know that drip is the largest when it comes to community well over a hundred thousand people and then also when you look at emp money definitely not as large as drip but they still have a tight niche and a very strong and loyal community Community. And this is what makes these projects, in my opinion, the top two passive income D apps in the DeFi space. But now let's briefly kind of dive into Drip real quick. If you look at the current price of Drip, at the time of this video, it can be higher or lower when you see the video. But you can see the price is still around that dollar fifty. It's at a dollar forty nine currently, and it's been really stable around this price. We've also been seeing pretty big buys come in once it starts to drop a little bit lower than this one forty. So that's definitely a good sign. So we can see the huge selling pressure has slowed down. Now, if you look at the faucet here, I've hit a very small milestone. I got a little bit over 5,000 drip now. And one thing I want to show you, here's my 5,005 drip. Let's go to drip5.app, 5,005 drip. You can see I'm literally 180 days away without adding any additional capital, just compounding once per day. I will be at that max payout, which is my goal. And I said, my strategy is going to stay the same. I'm gonna keep compounding until I get to that max payout. So definitely excited about that. But again, hit that small milestone of over 5,000 drip, and we're just gonna keep going. So real quick, one thing I wanna mention regarding the drip faucet and EMP money. They are completely different projects. However, they do have some mechanics that are common. When we talk about up to the 365% that you can make, on your investment right looking at drip we know the faucet pays you up to 365 percent based off of your investment but we also know if you decide not to do a max payout which is also the max you can do 
I will make 365% based off of my 5,005K drip, which is roughly 18,267 drip. Now, let's say I want to go all the way. The max I can get in any one wallet is 100,000 drip. And this is why people make multiple wallets because they want to stay in the system and repeat the cycle, right? And so if you go over to EMP Money, they have the same similar kind of aspect here when you look at the detonator. You have up to 365%. However, there's not actually actually a max wallet but the max you can get paid on your investment is 365 percent so as long as you keep compounding you will be able to keep growing that investment over time right now one thing that is kind of grown on me over time as well about emp money that i really uh disliked at first was how low the daily aprs are now i completely get it as well the longer you're in the DeFi space and you see all these projects come and go it's very hard to try to pay one percent or even more than that right and so emp money definitely pays a lot lower percentage somewhere sometimes around you know 0.25 percent to maybe 0.4 percent but also one thing to keep in mind they're able to continue to pay out those aprs regardless what the market is doing it's not it's not designed on new investors which is a good thing i really like about emp money and the sustainability about the project all right so the detonator what you're doing is basically adding emp and eth LP pair and it's EMP and ETH in, EMP and ETH out. All right. And so if you go to the reactor, same mechanics up to 365%, but now you you are actually putting in the eShare token, which is the governance token of the protocol and BNB. So it's eShares and BNB LP pair in, eShares and BNB LP out, right? And so the detonator EMP is the native token of the protocol, which is uh, pegged to Ethereum for uh, 4,000 to one. So you have the detonator, EMP and ETH out. So you can earn both of these. You have the reactor, which allows you to earn E shares as well as uh, BNB. You just have to split them apart. You have the nodes, which allows you to print EMP. All right. You also have the boardroom, which allows you to stake your E shares to print more EMP, right? And then you have the bonds here where basically you purchase those E bonds when it's below peg like it is now. And once it gets back above peg, the longer you hold it above peg and as it gets higher over peg, you, you can actually redeem those bonds for EMP with a uh, additional multiplier. So that way you're actually getting more EMP than what you pay for. So uh, basically capital appreciation in a sense. And so in a nutshell, that is EMP money. They also have the Sentinel. Uh, NFTs, which is for eShares and MDB. Now they're also going to be launching the NFTs as well uh, for the detonator. So the so the NFTs for the detonator is going to be EMP and ETH, and they said uh, it's going to pay anywhere from around 0.4 percent, so just shy of under half a percent, right? And it's going to have like a five to two strategy, so that's going to pay out an EMP ETH, which I do like. I'm going to get in on that because that will allow me to grow my detonator bag as well compared to all of the other players that's in you know the protocol right and so even though i'm showing all of this with emp money one thing i want to mention even though i'm focusing on the faucet here is the animal farm now as we all know or if you're unfamiliar the drip faucet and the animal farm are two different projects but by the same developer 4x now the animal farm doesn't need the drip faucet to survive but i will say the drip faucet does in a sense kind of need the animal farm to help that longevity of drip within itself right so in a sense the animal farm definitely helps contribute to the faucet as well and then we will have upcoming utility that we're expecting as well uh, such as scratchies such as the um lending that's going to be coming out and then also if he's going to allow us uh, he hasn't mentioned any more on it, but they're probably figuring out how to do it. But if they allow us to claim our drip tax free and be able to send it to the drip BUSD farm pool, I think that will be bullish over time as well. So you can definitely see how the animal farm does help contribute to drip, even though they are different projects. And so the animal farm also came out after the drip faucet as well. But I also wanted to focus on the main ROI passive income DS because this is a you know yield farming uh, farm where it gives investors like me and you the ability to get ownership in this farm right and so 
I got a ton of videos that talk about how the animal farm works and all of that. So definitely check out the previous videos. But in this video, I just wanted to kind of highlight if you're thinking about building passive income in the DeFi space, in my personal opinion, the top two passive income D apps in DeFi is the Drip Faucet as well as EMP Money. Now, if you gain some value from this video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and I will catch you all on the next one.